welcome back to my channel. What's popping? What's popping? What's popping? Ten. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Breland. Today is going to be a grad school vlog. So if you like even the idea of this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe before you leave. Let's go ahead and get started. Today is Thursday. Happy Thursday. I've been really wanting to vlog all week, but like at the same time, I didn't feel like vlogging. I vlogged this past weekend. If you guys haven't seen it, check out my previous video. But yeah, I was vlogging all weekend long. So when it came down to this week, I was like, I don't really feel like vlogging but I have to get this vlog up for you guys that way I stay on my upload schedule which by the way I try and upload every Sunday and Wednesday live at 5 so make sure you're following me on Instagram at beauty and brains underscore 5 to get notified whenever I upload a new video but for the most part if you subscribe turn on your bell notifications and you check for me Sunday Wednesday live at 5 so today's vlog I'm basically just gonna be getting my life together it's just that point in time in life as I mentioned in my last vlog I went home for the weekend and I really had the opportunity to go home again this weekend there's a lot of things going on that's why I just want to move back to Maryland but um yeah no I just had to make the executive adult decision to be like no I need to stay here in Raleigh have an exam on Monday so I need to be just studying getting my life together um, I'm taking out these faux locks today they've lasted a really long time well not a really long time but they've lasted about a good month which is cool for me so I'm gonna take these out today oh this camera is so heavy and I can't prop it up on my little salt shaker like I used to with my um, other camera so we're just gonna chill right here for a second <laughs> but yeah I am about to eat breakfast and then head to class I only have one class for today which is kind of random not normal I'm gonna go to my physiology class and I'm gonna go to the library with my friends as per usual I usually have a science writing in the media class in the afternoon but we're having conferences so I'm gonna leave the library around 2 15 to go to my professor's office because I have a conference meeting with her so I've been working basically all week getting things together for that I feel nice and prepared then I'm gonna go back to the library and finish out until about 5 30 I think I have the room for after that I have more errands that I want to do as you guys know I joined the dance ministry at my church and so today we have rehearsals before I go to rehearsal I need to go to the grocery store I'm so irritated I went to the grocery store on Monday but I didn't get everything that I needed so like there's a few things that I'm like I thought that I I thought but I uh, uh, uh. so I'm gonna go ahead and get that since I'm taking out these braids I'm gonna be washing my hair tonight and I want to get a new edge control because the one that I use I just feel like it doesn't hold that well I need to go to the grocery store the beauty supply store and there's one more thing that I need to do I wrote everything down because there's just like so much going on up here you know anyway yeah so I have like three minutes to eat before I need to for sure for sure leave out even though I really supposed to leave out like 10 minutes ago so I'll talk to you guys after my class and we'll talk about what else we have going on in today's vlog. Hope you all are having a wonderful Thursday or a wonderful day or night whenever you're watching this. And uh, yeah, let's get our lives together. Let me show you guys my outfit. I can prop you guys up right here. Little OOTD. As you guys can tell, I have my locks in half up, half down. This is actually a cute little, maybe I should put y'all here. <laughs> In no, anyway, okay, so sweater, this thing is super old. Oh, it's from Cotton On. I literally have had this since like high school. I bring it out every fall and winter. I had to go underneath my bed and get this because I don't have any of my fall and winter clothes out. We're doing that this weekend as well. So yes, sweater, Cotton On. These pants are from Boohoo. They're really cute. They're really cute, look like this. I also have on some regular black boots. These are from Shoe Dazzle and then I have on a turtleneck. The weather has dropped you guys. It is super duper cold outside so I'm putting on a coat over top of this. I really want to wear a scarf but this turtleneck has me a little <gasps> so we're not going to do that. Anyway yeah I've talked enough. I'm going to eat my breakfast then we're going to head to class. Nothing.
I switched my book bag out for my purse and I went ahead and packed oh, some dance clothes later on because I do have rehearsal tonight for my ministry dance team. So I'm about to head out right now and go to my first stop, which I believe is going to be the beauty supply store. I don't know what time it closes actually, but it's about 5.50 now. By the time I get there, it'll be about like 6.15. I think it closes at 7, so I should be good. But like I said, I need to go to the beauty supply store, the dollar store, and the grocery store. And then after those things, I'm going to head to church for my rehearsal, which starts at 7.30. So I have about like an hour to get everything that I want to get done, done. Honestly, like 30 minutes. I tried to give myself longer than that, but it kind of took me a little bit longer to leave the library, bike here, use the bathroom, change purses. Now I'm like 30 minutes short. So I won't go to the grocery store before I go to rehearsal. I'll probably go afterwards because I don't obviously need my food just sitting in my car while I'm rehearsing. Luckily the grocery store that I go to is open 24 hours so it'll be open like 9 30 the time when I get out of practice. Like I said today is my last day of the locks and I have to take them out when I get home. I hope I'm not too tired to do so but um I definitely want to let my hair breathe for a couple of days before I get my hair styled next which I can't wait. I'm gonna do the hair vlog to show you guys the next thing just saying to myself how I didn't even feel that hungry and then literally as soon as I pulled up I was like oh you know what I am hungry I made sure though that I still have a couple more snacks from earlier where my little uh yeah got some pineapples that I'm about to eat oh my gosh this literally has to last me until like 9 p.m but it's okay we gonna do it we gonna get through it cuz I mean we got to pulling up to the beauty supply store now Luckily, it is still open. I love the beauty supply store. Whenever I come, it's always open. Even if I'm like, I don't know if it will be, it always is. And I always get a good park, and they always have everything that I need. It's honestly the best beauty supply store. Not ever, but like, you know, for the area. Okay, going in. Okay, I'm back. I went to the beauty supply, I went to the dollar store, I went to rehearsal, then I went to the grocery store. I'm gonna do a little bit of a haul of basically everything that I got since I've been kind of like MIA for the past couple of hours. Starting off with the beauty supply store, this is the edge control that I hear good things about. Let me know down below if you guys have tried this one and if so, what you think about it. This is called the 24 hour edge tamer, the extreme firm hold, purple one. So I got this one and I also got me a new edge brush. Like this, I already have one that's pink, but I decided to get one that's black because that one was getting a little bit nasty. So yeah, like I said, I'm gonna take these faux locks out today. Now that it's actually time, I'm kind of like, oh, I don't wanna take out my babies. I got a lot of compliments on them today, actually. But yeah, no, it's time. I mean, I guess I could wash my hair with them in, but they're starting to kind of like unravel a little bit, you know? They had their run. Mm. I'm gonna miss them. I think I'm gonna get braids again soon. So anyway, got that. Then I got eyebrow shaver. I needed a new one of those. And then also, these are my favorite lashes. I didn't wear them in the past vlog because I haven't had these in a while. But these are the ones that I wore a lot over the summertime. Um, these are my favorite lashes. You guys asked me about them and I was like, oh, they're in a black and a gold packaging. So the brand is called V Lux by I and V and I get the style Malia. They look like this. They're like very, very fluffy and they make my eyes look very round. So that's all that I got from the beauty supply store. Then when I came in, I got a package of Fabletics, which I'm super excited about because you guys know that I've been doing better working out at the gym. Now, I didn't go to the gym today. I don't know what it was this week. I just wasn't really feeling it. Um, I've just been really, really tired. And I'm like, no, I'd rather sleep in than go to the gym. You know, you don't wanna stress yourself out too much. So, honestly, no. I can say that it wasn't even that I was super tired. It was that it was super cold. And just the thought 
of like leaving my bed at six o'clock in the morning when I know that it was cold outside, I just like, I couldn't do it. And so this should help me out. I basically bought this puffer jacket. This is gonna be the jacket that I wear when I'm biking to the gym in the morning time. I'm thinking about possibly running to the gym in the morning because it's only 0.7 miles away. And I think that would be a good like warm up for me. And you know, like running, that would be good cardio. Like I said, it'll warm me up and it'll also like maybe help me like lose more weight. I don't know. So let's try on this jacket. This is called the Arden Puffer Jacket. It has a front closure, it's adjustable, it has a hidden pocket, it's relaxed, crop fit, and has a warm polyfill insulation. Um, I guess if you buy this regular price, it's $119.95, but I did sign up for the VIP just because with me working out so consistently, I think that it is a good idea that I start getting more workout clothes, so. Yes, this is warm already. Ooh, this is cute. What's this say? I wasn't sure if I was gonna like the shiny, but I, this is my first time getting a puffer jacket. Like, I don't think I wore these back in like elementary school, like when your mom used to make you wear stuff like this. I didn't have to wear them. <laughs> but, you know, now that they in style, everybody got one. So hopefully this is gonna help me get more motivated to go to the gym in the morning times when it's super cold. I also got two of their leggings because they have a deal right now on their website where it's like two for 24, which I definitely recommend because their leggings are like the best part of Fabletics. Like they have bomb leggings. And this isn't sponsored by the way, I got these with my own. <laughs> I pay for these with my own money. So I actually got two pairs of black leggings because Fabletics does send me clothes occasionally, but when they do, I don't get to choose them. It's kind of just like their monthly picks and they usually like bright colors, which are cool. But you know, we're getting into the colder months and there's nothing like just having a really good pair of black leggings. So the first pair that I got are called the High Waisted Solid Power Hold. I got these in the tall length, which is really nice. And of course, the size medium. And of course you can see the color black. So I believe that I have a pair of these that are in green and those just fit really really well so I mean I'm not gonna try these on so it's gonna be hard for you guys to see but I'll wear them tomorrow when I go to the gym and I'll show you guys so yeah they're just like honestly just the best leggings that you can possibly get they feel good they look good they like really sculpt your body in and then like I don't know it just makes your legs look really really good so I love these I'm gonna take good care of them because even though they're two for 24 like individually if you buy these alone they're worth $69.95 so the next pair is called the Trinity high-waisted pocket leggings so got these in the tall version in the size medium so these are good for training they have an external pocket they're moisture wicking always stretch breathable chafe resistant high waist contouring power with mesh lining a back waistband pockets for a phone or a media device I would have just gotten these black leggings twice bad sad to, you know. And this is basically the detail on these. This lighting right here is so good. Like literally I have no lights on except for my vanity lights and the lighting is perfect even during the nighttime. Anyway, this is what these leggings look like. Once again, I got them in the tall length. These feel a little bit thinner, not in like a thin way, but it's in like a like not as like these these right here you gotta like shimmy in them but once you in them you like oh these retail price are actually 79.95 so if you would have gotten both of these together plus this jacket honey hundreds of dollars but fabletics really does you good with their vip service like i said i got these leggings two for 24 and i believe the jacket was like 50 dollars because it was on sale so that is everything that i got from Fabletics. I do have more clothes from Shein, like a lot of clothes over there. But I'm going to show you tomorrow just because um, I don't feel like doing it tonight. And I need to clean out my closet first before I do that, which I'm going to be doing tomorrow as well. Let's go to the kitchen so I can show you guys what I got from the dollar store and also from the grocery store. Okay, so boom, in the kitchen, ignore this jank setup. I have you guys resting on the stove. Uh, let's talk about what I got. First things first, all-purpose cleaner, Lysol, must-have. I also got some refills for my dish wand. And because it's the fall time and it's getting cold, I've been loving wax melters. And my favorite scent, as you guys know, is vanilla. So I got these warm vanilla cubes that I can just place in my wax melters. I also got Homeline Scents Apple Cinnamon 
fragrance candles. I'm actually about to light these up right now. And also in the smell good category, I got some more um, Airwick scented oil refills. This is also in the scent apple cinnamon. I feel like that's very fall like. Some gloves because like I said, it's been so cold that I've been needing these and I'm riding my bike like I've been dying. The last things from the dollar store are basically gonna bring me into why I went back to the grocery store. First thing, I just got some more trash bags. I like the Glade ones that are scented so that my kitchen smells good. Obviously, you guys can tell I like for my home to smell good. I've really been enjoying living by myself. Like I thoroughly enjoy it. I hope I never get a roommate. <laughs> Then I got this right here, which is like a covered baking pan. And I went in there looking for a cheap muffin pan, but they didn't have any. So I thought that this would be a good second option because I basically want to try and make something different for breakfast where I like make egg cups and then I put in like bell peppers and tomatoes and bacon and stuff like that. So that was the plan. And the recipes that I've seen online, they do them in the little muffin cup, but I've also seen people do them in pans like this and then like just cut them into squares, kind of like a brownie. And I thought that, okay, maybe I could do it like this, then put the lid on and put this in the refrigerator and eat these like every other day for breakfast. I'm gonna try it this Sunday and I'll let you know, but I probably won't do it like this because when I went to the grocery store, I ended up getting a muffin pan from there. So I'm gonna try them in the muffin pan. If I like the way that they taste, but I don't like how small they are, then I'm gonna try it in the other pan the next time. I don't think I could take anything back from the dollar store, so I'm just gonna have to keep that. As you guys saw in my last vlog, I like to make my breakfast little wraps with these right here. If you need a better look, this is what they look like. Also, you guys, tell me why. You guys know I've been trying to be on my healthy kick. I know that I've been like cheating a lot. Like I said, I was gonna like completely cut until Thanksgiving. That didn't happen. And if you guys see me cheating online, don't make me feel bad, okay? Just look the other way, okay? Keep tapping through the Instagram story or just scroll away. You don't gotta be like, hey, didn't you say? Let me live my best life, sis, okay? We all make bad decisions, me included. Okay, anyway, so I was trying to make good decisions and I decided like, ooh, I really, really want a fajita, but I can't do the tortilla rolls, right? So when I go to the grocery store on Sunday and I go grocery shopping, I basically buy these cauliflower. These are Viva Cauliflower Tortillas. So they're cauliflower tortillas, right? You put them in the freezer. They were the freezer section in the grocery store. They're supposed to be gluten-free, a good source of fiber, vegan with no preservatives and no GMOs. This is an eight pack and these are maybe like $6. Let me tell you, these taste like cardboard. These are so nasty. Like they're so bad that I literally was like, I have to go to the grocery store and get regular tortillas before I eat dinner tomorrow because I cannot eat these again. Like that's how bad they were. Not only do they taste like cardboard, but they smell like dog food. Like zero out of 10. These get zero stars. These are trash. I'm literally throwing them away. They're so nasty. And I ended up just getting regular tortillas. Like I know it wasn't good for me, but I like I already need the stuff for the fajitas. So yeah, these are the same brand, the super soft fajita tortillas. So I'm about to warm these up see my dinner tonight I can't wait for that um, I got some lemon juice because I heard that if you add these to your apples they won't turn as brown as quickly and I like eat apples sometimes for my snacks in the library and I don't like it when they turn brown so we're gonna see if this works or not I don't really know how much to add I guess I'll google it I also got some more cheese singles because I ran out it's 10 wow 45 and I have not eaten dinner yet like I'm hungry and I'm ready for dinner I'm sure you guys have seen it before, but I just love my little cheese holder here. Almost done. I got spinach. You guys know I eat spinach in my eggs every day. I ran out, <laughs> got some more spinach. More avocados because for some reason I didn't get enough last time. Oh, by the way, um, this is the little avocado holder I ended up buying from Amazon. It came in and I got it for free because I thought my neighbor stole my Amazon package and then it showed up on my day a day later after I already called customer service. So. I like to keep my uh, avocados in here. Once again, I saw these at TJ Maxx for like $2, but you can also get them on Amazon for like $4, and it does preserve your avocados. You welcome, sis. Okay, ladies and gents, that was a blast. These are literally the rest of those nasty tortillas that I'm, li I'm literally about to throw them away. I think that's one thing that I'm lying. Um, so I'm gonna warm up my fajitas and finally eat dinner. Then I'm gonna sit on the couch and take out my faux locks, and I'm gonna go to bed. So I'll talk to you guys in the morning time. Hopefully I'll go to the gym in the morning. We'll see, cause it's raining outside. When it's raining and it's cold.
Okay, y'all, so it is so much later. Let me turn on the light. <laughs> As you guys can tell, it is nighttime again. Um, I didn't go to the gym this morning because it took me forever to take out my hair. I literally fell asleep taking out my locks last night, and then I woke up this morning, and I didn't finish until like 3.30 p.m. It took me hours. Like, it was unbearable. So, anyway, today my plan was basically just to study all day and then chill all night but I guess I kind of reversed it since I took a lot of my day to like chill because after I was done taking out my hair I was like I need a nap I'm tired my hair is free and out I'm about to head right now to a study session that my physiology TA hosts I told you guys I go to those every week so I'm gonna head to that right now then afterwards I'm gonna go to the library until I get tired or until they close which I think is either like 10 11 12 something like that so I'll be there for about a good like four or five hours get some work done and then we'll basically try this whole vlog thing again tomorrow but that's basically all i did today was take out my hair i didn't even really eat i have to come back and make dinner too but yeah i'm gonna go to the review session this is my new coat <laughs> it's pouring down raining outside as well so i know that it's cold i'll talk to you guys a little bit later what stomach acid acid secretion and ductal secretion are all about um it's the same thing in 504 with the kidneys i mean it's all about my own the next day happy saturday operation get my life in order is in full effect i washed my hair this morning and now i'm on my way to dance ministry rehearsal y'all i had so many dishes in the sink last night so my kitchen is nice and clean now i love just wiping down the sink and the countertops and everything after i finish cooking and if you don't do that you dirty anyway so i'm gonna head to ministry rehearsal now that's supposed to be from 10 to 2 and then when we get back we're tackling this closet, okay? Because it is filled to the brim with a whole bunch of summer clothes. So it's time to go ahead, put some stuff on Poshmark and uh, get rid of some of this stuff and then take the stuff from underneath my bed, which is all my winter clothes and switch it. It's ironic because the last time I feel like I filmed a clean with me Poshmark, like switching my closet over type thing, I was also wearing the same sweater. But listen, it's the uniform, okay? This is literally what I wear when I'm chilling. So join the movement, shop the merch. Let's go ahead and head to rehearsal. out like I mentioned before this video is sponsored by Poshmark so thank you to Poshmark for sponsoring this video if you guys don't know what Poshmark is it is basically the best place to sell clothes out of your closet it's an app that you can download on your phone I'll have a link in the description box down below basically I have my own profile which I will also link in the description box down below I'm going to show you guys some of my items and as I'm switching out my wardrobe from summer to winter especially if I find that there's something that still has a tag on it I will literally sell it on my Poshmark
Walmart for a discounted price. So if you guys want to shop for me or anybody else out there, regular people out there who just want to sell their clothes and get rid of some things in their closet and make some cash, definitely download Poshmark. That way you can sell or buy some great items at a great price. If you have heard of Poshmark before, it's because it's really well known. You can find amazing deals on there and shop from some of your favorite well-known name brands. But on Poshmark, you can get them for 70% off of retail price. Also just launched a home section to their app so you can purchase things like bedding and stationery from their app now as well. If you guys do have your own Poshmark and you like to sell things on there, definitely let me know. Send me an Instagram story at Brie and Barbie and I would love to check out your page and possibly buy some things from you. Hopefully this doesn't take me forever because I'm ready to make dinner. Let's go ahead and take a look at my closet. <laughs> this is what we're looking like so far. I think I'm going to keep everything up here because these are basically pants sweaters and workout things so that's good it's mainly just this middle section right here and also the bottom section it has some jackets and stuff but of course I have like more sweaters and cardigans so I'm going to switch out everything on top to be basically sweaters and long sleeve shirts and I'm going to put all of my sweaters cardigans blazers on the bottom anything that I didn't really wear this past season that I don't want anymore is going to go in this bucket right here which is going to be sold in my Poshmark again the link will be in the description box down below so without further ado let's go ahead and get to it Okay y'all, I finally finished. As you can tell, I switched everything over. I have so much space and I have a ton of hangers left over. So mission accomplished. This is what my little bin looks like with all of my clothes I'm gonna be selling on Poshmark. So again, click the link in the description box down below to check it out. As you guys know, it's only tradition, out with the old, in with the new. I'm gonna end this vlog by doing a little bit of a Shein try on haul. I haven't done one in a while, so, well, I mean I have, but I haven't done a try on haul where I just really like sat and talked to you guys in a while. Um, by the way, I changed clothes because after I try on these clothes, I'm going to deep condition my hair, I'm gonna paint my toenails, do a face mask, put on a wig. <laughs> I'm really just gonna do like a little self care night. And I would record that, but this vlog is already getting kind of long. Oh, that reminds me, I also have some hats. So I'm gonna start off with some accessories I'm gonna show you guys. Um, obviously, I don't have my hair done right now, so I'm sorry I'm not gonna be trying on the hats like in full glam, but you get the gist of it. And as per usual with all of these items as well, everything will be linked down below. So let's start with all the hats that I got. Personally, I love hats for the fall and winter time. Of course, I love the ones that keep you warm, but there's something about a hat that just adds that extra like, that extra oomph to a fall outfit. These are one of the hats that are actually gonna keep you warm. I've actually already worn this hat. It's really nice when it's cold outside to put it over top of your ear. I remember back when I was a little girl, I used to not like the hats that had this little puff ball on it, but I saw one of these influencers picture with one of these hats online. I was like, oh my gosh, they're actually kind of cute now that we're older. So I got myself one, it was only like $5. Next up, I got two of these hats that I've been dying to try. Well, I believe they call these the Baker Boy hats. You guys know my favorite kind of hat is like a beret 
it just gives that extra bougie vibe that I aspire to look at all times. This hat is kind of in the same realm. Of course, I love it because it has these gold details on it. Again, sorry I can't try these on, but definitely follow me on Instagram to see how I style it. I don't even know how I'm going to style it yet, so I'm excited to add this to my wardrobe because all the years that I've been wearing hats, I've never had a hat like this before. I also got a Baker Boy hat in white. I feel like that would be really, really cute with some of my winter outfits. I also got a classic tan fedora hat. I can't believe I had not had one of, or I did not have one of these in my wardrobe. Um, it's kind of a little bit bent up because the way that it was shipped, but oh, and gee how cute as you guys can tell it has a black ribbon on it i believe this is removable oh actually no it's not no it is okay it's removable so if you want it on you can keep it on if not you don't have to but you know you just wear it like this and you can't really get the vibes right now in my bonnet but i cannot I cannot wait to surf looks i love hats like this i love 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 hats like this I also got this similar style hat in black because surprisingly I don't have one. I have hats that are similar but not true fedora hats that look like this. This one has like this gold detail that kind of flipped over and it goes across the edge like that. I think that that is really, really cute. I love that these hats have the gold detail because I live in gold. And the black will look really, really good. The blonde hair, I love the contrast. So those are all of the hats that I got. Again, links will be in the description box down below if you wanna try them out. Now let's go ahead and get some of the outfits. First item I'm so excited for, it is this parka jacket. Again, you guys, <laughs> I talk about it so much, but I hate being cold. I am not a fan of the fall and the winter time and I really needed me a warm coat. I I saw they have these really cute ones on Shein, so I picked them up. I got mine in the color black, but they actually have these in all colors. And I was curious, comment down below, do you guys wear colored coats? I have one that's kind of like a tan greenish color, then I have black and I have nude and tan and stuff like that. But I don't have like a pink coat anymore and I don't have like an orange or a red. The most that I would go was kind of like an army green. I feel like colored coats are kind of childish, but I don't know. I saw that this coat came in different colors and I was like, oh, maybe I should get a different color. But something about coats, I'm like to wear these every day, so you kind of want them to be neutral. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think down below. Do you wear a color coat? This is basically going to be my big kahoot coat when I'm just like super cold and I'm like, don't bother me. I just want to be warm. I don't really care about being super, super cute. You can see here that it does have fur on the hood. It is also lined all on the inside. On the sleeves, it actually has this... Uh, silk material which I'm not happy about. I think that this would keep me really really warm. It also has this patch right here. It says army and shelter mad for fame down. I have no idea what that means. I think they just put little random things on it. It doesn't even look that black. I don't know if you guys can tell on camera. It kind of looks navy especially in comparison to this black. I don't know. I'm not in love with it. Let me see when I try it on. So the sleeves are short on this. Shein always has super short sleeves which just pisses me off. Um, I also don't know what size I got mine in, but I feel like it's a little bit tight. And it's a little bit shorter than I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to come a little bit further below, but it's a thinner coat still. So I don't know if I would recommend this one. Okay, the next item that I got are called the Plaid High Rise Tailor Pants. Now I actually purchased two of these by accident, so I'm going to put the second pair on my Poshmark. So if you like these, they will be available on my Poshmark as well in a size medium. I feel like these are so cute. I love kind of dressing business casual, especially in the fall time. It's really easy to wear something like this with like a turtleneck and then a cardigan or a blazer. These are cute to wear to church or really just on an everyday basis and I'm pretty sure they're also really comfortable. They have belt loops on them as well as a button and a working zipper the best thing about having gray pants do they have pockets yes the best thing about having gray pants is that you can match them with anything white black red really anything will go with these gray pants next item is this white high neck rib top i love tops like this one high neck high necks are just very classy you guys know i don't really like to show a lot of the chest and i love how the sleeves are like a good length on them once again this will look really really good with those pants the next item is called the plaid print bodycon skirt you guys know i love me bodycon and plaid is like my favorite print i think it's between plaid and yeah like if it was plaid and tweed it's just like my favorite um, and i really feel like it screams fall it also like like the holiday time I feel like this would look really really cute with again a white top or a black turtleneck would be really cute with this or you could do red like it's really really easy to pair this the material of it like it is pretty cheap it's stretchy and it's comfortable but it's, it doesn't feel like oh my gosh it's the best skirt in the world but 
it'll probably feel comfortable when it's on and it'll get the job done when you look cute in your outfit. So I got mine in the size medium. My next item are called the All Over Print Zip Fly Skinny Pants. When I was in Atlanta, and even in high school, I didn't really care how cold it was outside. I used to say like fashion over function, like I would be cold in my skirt and I literally would go to class every day in a skirt, like even in the winter time. But now I'm like, I can't manage, it's too cold, like I can't survive. So I'm really looking to add more pants to my wardrobe because I'm literally like, I can't wear my skirt, it's just too cold. And that's half my collection. So anyway, these pants are pretty cool. I'm sure you guys can tell just by the way that I'm holding them, but they aren't as structured as they look online only thing that makes them look like they're not honestly like pajama pants is the fact that it has a zipper right here this is going to be really really easy to style and you'll be comfortable but you will look really put together the next item is called a high neck form fitted tee again you guys know i love my high necks the lighting is kind of washing it out but it is this beautiful purple color i remember when i did purple vibes last year or it was violet vibes um i think that's what i called it i really really like the way that the purple looked again on my skin tone it looks really cool with black hair but it also looks really nice with blonde hair so I just thought that I would get more of this. Something about like really light pastel colors are in for the winter this year. So if you pair this with a whole bunch of dark colors, it kind of goes. This shirt is actually really great material. I love what it's made out of. And you can see that it's really like a full length top. Once again, no crop tops. We're doing good so far. Ooh, maybe I lied. Houndstooth is actually one of my favorite prints. So look at this next piece right here. Once again, it's basically exactly what I just said. And then of course it's tweed and it's black and white, which I also really, really like. This is actually a two piece set. So it is a shawl collared blazer and then it has this matching skirt right here. A great detail about this two piece set is that it has these beautiful gold buttons on there. They make the items look really expensive. So I like that for sure. And of course you can never go wrong with a two piece set because you can pair this skirt with something or you can pair the blazer by itself or of course you could pair them together and this is such a look next up we have more pants I and mean, you guys are like who is this girl I know it's crazy for me too these are called the slant pocket detail slit hem skinny pants so basically these are like a deep purple I felt like these would be really really good for the winter time I got mine in the size medium they kind of again they're pants but they're like that legging type of pants which is my favorite kind of pants like if I'm gonna wear pants I want to be comfortable I like leggings um they do have pockets up front right here again you could dress these up because the material they kind of are the material of like stretchy slacks and then they have this cute detail at the bottom right here where they slit the picture looked like it was split like this on the girl's leg and she had on some pumps which I thought was really cute but out here in person it looks like it's kind of like slit on the side I kind of don't mind that much because I will probably wear these with boots but just know that these do look a little bit different in person than they do online you can't revamp your fall and winter wardrobe without getting more cardigans I got this beautiful purple one this is literally like a really 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 really, really good cardigan like it is super duper thick like I want you guys to see the whole vibe of it I believe this is called the drop shoulder front pocket cardigan coat it's surprising that they say a cardigan coat I've never heard of that before but I definitely I can see why like this is a thick baby it feels super super warm and comfortable I love how long it is the last item is this gigot sleeve fluffy sweater bodycon dress it looks like this now I'm not sure if I love this or not I'm gonna try it on to see but um I don't really know what I was thinking honestly I think I had in mind that I really wanted a color like this because I'm doing something exciting on my Instagram for the last couple of months of 2019. Really easy dress to wear with tights just because of like the dark color. So you can wear this with tights, a really cute hat. Okay you guys, so that is everything that I got from Shein for the month of November. I actually am going to do a Black Friday haul from them and possibly a Cyber Monday haul from them as well. So if you guys like these, make sure you give me a thumbs up. If you're not already, subscribe to my channel. Join the movement and shop the merch at BeanieBraidsApparel.com. Don't forget to check out Poshmark. The link for that will be in the description box down below as well as the items for everything else that I am replacing in my closet. And make sure you live each day to the fullest because you only live once and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!